M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Quantum SDR. I just want to say that I'm completely blown away by this product. I bought it so that I could test it on my Zygu G90, which is great and it works really, really well as a sort of external touch screen interface for my G90. What I didn't know, there was two things that I didn't know. One, it can be powered by USB-C. So it's turned off, watch this. Grab my USB-C, plug it in the side. And it will come on. There you are, USB-C, which means I can use my portable charger, or bank, battery bank, like something like this, to power it. That is, to me, is a big plus. I can interface it with the Zygu, the Aircraft KX3, and many other devices. It even has a, an IF, or the ability to connect to the IF of several radios, Yaesu, Icom, but out of the box, it will do my G90, and I haven't got an Aircraft, but it will do the Aircraft KX3, no problem. It can even do airband with the correct settings. It's a light portable device. I've just connected an adapter here. Let's unplug my external speaker. We've got an external speaker that was plugged into here. Just into the audio jack. I even plugged in my Bluetooth one as well. And that's that was working fine. We've got this debug connection. It's actually SMA, but I've got this adapter on there, which works really well. Let's unplug the USB-C, and then you've got your CAT and IQ interface. So if your radio's got IQ out, you're gonna be you're gonna have some success with this. CAT and PC. It says here PC. Now I didn't know, even know that the PC connection would actually power the device, and then you've got this extension setting, and then you've got 12 volts in um, as well. So I'm just gonna plug it back in to the USB-C. And you can calibrate the screen, ETC, but we're not going to need to do that now. This was the Bluetooth speaker that I connected. And so back with the antenna, which is just a long wire. And there you go. And then we need to get our speaker in there. I'm actually using an ICOM speaker. Like so. And then we can, you know, there's so many settings I can go on forever. But this video is just to say... I am blown away by this product. I think it's fantastic. This is a five inch screen. Apparently they're going to be doing uh, a seven inch screen or at least a seven inch screen module. Also, the other thing that you can do is eventually they're talking about doing FTA on screen as well. You know, WSJTX type work. I'm not saying it will be that program. And uh, I've, I've been making lots and lots of videos, enjoying and learning how to use this. There is a learning curve like there is with any product. You know, you've got a big menu, lots, but it is touch screen and you can scroll using the screen as well. And uh, just select your usual bands. If we just go band here, 40 meters. You might recognize this interface because it's similar to the RS918 interface, but I am blown away. And to get this from normal, mode where it was just configured and connected to my G90 and my G90 was doing all the work. All I had to do was change one setting and then on the back I just, just show you the back and then we'll end the video. Sorry about my hand getting in the way there. Just on the back all I had to do was move these two pins as they are now. I had to move the left one from the from the left to the right which took about two seconds and to change the settings. Um, so it's you know it's a 3D printed type device has a touch screen and I'll tell you now it's light portable I'm just literally blown away by how good it is and the instruction manual is massive actually this is just the the quick guide yeah but they're doing a new instruction manual as well and in that manual you're going to see some some new features that are coming up and don't forget this is a progressive item and it's early days it's only been a couple of years They've, I've spoke to the developers and there's other people helping, of course. There's always a team of people with a product like this where there's so much passion involved. And the, some of the things they've got in the pipeline are amazing. This is, this is literally step one, I would say. Maybe step two, because there was the M2. Um, um, but um, get on board. Join, join us as a Facebook group. Uh, you are not going to regret getting this item. I'll put the links in the description. I know I get nothing from... 
the company. This is, I only make videos on products that I like. Otherwise, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. 7.3, all the best. Quantum SDR M3 Plus model, 7.3.